So I was out riding the uh, motorcycle. Nice day here, 71 degrees. Didn't, I still want to get out to 49th Street and continue on the Florida Trail, but uh, you know, like I said, every day just kind of evolves. I was coming down here to do another hike on the Oklawaha, and I'm going to make another video once. It's going to take me a while. I got a good hour to get out to where I hadn't filmed, you know, uh, out there, but I, I met a black guy being, uh, being a MAGA person, you know, I'm a systemic racist, and we got to talking about uh, fishing, and uh, he said fishing in that river is pretty darn good. I'm looking forward to uh, pulling out the fishing pole and um, and seeing what uh, what I can catch. Uh, he said he hadn't fished it down below the dam. He said, but you ought to go check out above the dam, and I'm hoping that maybe there's a trail over here that I don't know. He said there might be another trail. So we're just going to kind of walk around here. They want $5 just to park the motorcycle in here and I'm you know I'm only going to be here 15 20 minutes but I thought we'd we'd take a quick look around all right so let's get on so this is I didn't get this so we're at the mice moss bluff lock and dam by the way there's a uh, there's a diner up here uh, and it's called the damn diner <laughs> Isn't that a great name and uh, I can't wait to eat there one of these days and uh, it does sit, you know, very close here to the dam, but let's get some video, other videos. So you know me, I always, <laughs> I always like to get the weird stuff. There's a bench here to sit on, but I don't know how you'd sit on it unless you, you, to get your feet wet. And uh, here's, here's kind of the dam. Not much to see here, but it is beautiful. And uh, you can see over here, they're bringing a boat into the water. You know, one thing we have here in, in Central Florida is just tons and tons of places to go boating. I wish I had a boat, but you know, I don't want to pay to store it, and then you got the HOA to deal with, and uh, I am looking at getting a piece of land so I can have a garden, you know, because the, the old people here don't want to grow their own vegetables, and, uh, but uh, we'll just be here a second longer. You know, one nice thing is if you are coming back here to hike the uh, Aqualaha uh, River Trail, which is why I'm here, you know, if you had an emergency and you needed a bathroom, you could just drive right down in here and use these bathrooms, which, uh, you know, I'm always on the lookout for that, uh, being old and a two-time cancer survivor. So let's, uh, let's get a little video off the uh, pier over here, and then we'll move on to the other side over here and see if there's a trail. So this is kind of a view off of the dock here of the Oklawaha River above the dam. And uh, you can see there's some real nice picnic shelters back in here. Wouldn't it be great, you know, to get a meal to go up at that diner and come down here and eat it? But who, who's going to want to pay $5 just to park your damn car and have a meal? That's just would be stupid. Now, they, they should make a distinction that, you know, if you're going to be here all day with a boat, then maybe $5 is worth it. But uh, I wouldn't pay it just to come back and use the picnic shelters. But here's the dam. So you can kind of see it. Boat's going in right there. And... Uh, really nice really nice so i'm hoping over here we're gonna find a trail let's uh, let's go take a look and uh, boy daylight's getting away from me i really 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 want to get my hike in today on that aqua uh, trail and, and make a couple videos so let's get going well i thought i'd get this sign before i leave the park here these are all the fish florida's fresh florida fish and wildlife conservation commission freshwater fishes the Florida gar, the long nose gar, the alligator gar, and then you can just kind of read down the list. I'll tell you what, I'll get up close and you can pause it if you want to see what the fishing would be like. I, we have a fishing club in the community and I am going to look into that. And I, I joined it years ago and then I never, never went anywhere. Of course, with the virus, they're probably not doing anything. Nobody does anything. That's why I go out and just go hiking. I can do that, but I'm, I'm a loner anyway. You know, my wife plays golf and she goes on and on about how she's, you know, I'm bringing home the virus. Yeah, I'm going to catch the virus out here in the middle of the forest. Anyway, let's not go there. So we're kind of hiking along the river here, just like before. And I won't take too much video because you've already seen this before. I was hoping to find my buddy and ask him, you know, how the fishing's going. But uh, he, as you can see, you, know, you really can't get down to the water right here. So he, he might be further up. Now, I prefer to get up on that road because i got to make time to get up to the places that I haven't hiked. Let's just bring it around and get a selfie. So, uh, you can kind of see, you know, once again, 
I'm all alone out here and uh, well except for my buddy hope I find him and uh, well see right here this would be a good spot to pull up a fish I'm surprised I haven't seen him but anyway maybe he just decided he wanted to get a hike in so he'd be further up the further up the river sorry wasn't paying attention to where the camera was but anyway I'm gonna get back up on the road yeah cuz I gotta make time you know, I hate this daylight savings time. You know, why can't we get some common sense in this doggone country and get rid of daylight savings time? Because it just doesn't make sense. Uh, so I, you know, I got four hours, well, two hours out, two hours back, of course. And so it's going to take me about an hour to get to where I want to make the next video. And uh, so we'll continue. Unless I see, hopefully we'll see some critters along the way. That would be cool, wouldn't it? And I'll get some video of that. Sometimes, you know, the birds are out. Or, uh, boy, I tell you that, I swear that was a seal that came across the last time. <laughs> but it, it probably wasn't. All right. That's going to be real short. I just want to kind of show, you know, people in the area. You know, most of us are, are getting up there in the years. If you just want an easy hike, this would be good if you just stay up here on the road. You know, I would prefer to walk down by the river, but I'm trying to make time today. But that's kind of what it looks like. And then if you look back... That's kind of where I came from. All right, that's good. So here's the first hike of the day. So we're gonna go ways down this uh, this road here. It's not marked as a trail or anything, but uh, you know, we are out exploring and it's been somewhat dry. I could see where, see this would be tough to hike. And that's why I'm not doing Chernobyl. You know, I gotta hike the rest of that and make a video there because uh, while we got dry weather, you know, I wanna come back here and do trails like this because you know, once the rainy season hits, no way you're going to be able to come back in here. And you see all the horse poop. I don't think there'd be wild horses around here. So that's probably uh, just horses in the area that come through here. So this is probably a horse trail. So I may not go too far up in here. Uh, anyway, so that's uh, that's where we are. Let's uh, cut the video off because I'm not seeing anything. You know, there's kind of a neat little stream running next to next to the path here which is cool so yeah unfortunately I'm losing daylight I'm hiking as fast as I can so we're getting back in here now boy couldn't you see a gator come rising up out of there or the swamp creature <laughs> that is cool wow you really feel like you're you're off the grid I think this might be the that trail that I saw that I was going to hike anyway it looks like it's looping up into the area. Let's, let's get going. So I'm really getting back in here now. Man, what a wonderful hike. Gosh, I, people just don't even know. But there's a body of water. See, that's what I was talking about. There's just bodies of water everywhere. Uh, I know there's some stuff you could backpack in and then get on that water. But I guess there's gators probably in there. So you can see we're kind of moving along. I just kind of can get a view of the water. See, from that other side... You can kind of see way back there. I hope you can see it. That's uh, that's the other side of the trail. You couldn't see that water. Uh, at least I didn't. In the, it, I don't recall it. But uh, we're just continuing on this way. It's not a. I mean, it's it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I, you know, but it's kind of more of the same thing. You know, you see in stuff like this along the way. That's a cool looking tree, right? You know, and. Uh, Problem is I'm not seeing the birds. I was hoping the birds would be out today, but we'll keep an eye out. Okay, I want to do this a few more times. Uh. Boy, it just occurred to me <laughs> that I, I still got one more setting to get to get the phone even higher. I should have done that. Hey, you just heard on the radio, isn't this the most ridiculous thing? I mean, this whole coronavirus, they, they said that the infection rate in L.A. County is, is the worst in the country. Now, that county's been under lockdown. They've put every small business out of business. They've just destroyed their economy. And uh, they're, they're the worst county in the country. Now, when are they going to get it in their thick heads that lockdowns don't work? We're, you know, we're open here in Florida. DeSantis has done a great job. 
uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, older people getting the vaccine now, and that's the way it should be. You know, I got a lot of friends that are older than me, and they're asking, what do you know? And they're on their phones just tapping away, trying to figure out how they can get the vaccine. And they're like, well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I said, well, I just go hiking. <laughs> I ain't worried about getting the vaccine. I'll get it when I get it, you know? Plus, I wanna see how everybody does with it. I had a pretty adverse reaction to the anthrax vaccine. So I'm in absolutely no hurry to get it. So, uh, plus, you know, I, I don't deserve it. The people that are the most vulnerable are the ones that uh, should get the vaccine. And, uh, you know, that's why, you know, I've heard, and of course, you know, doctors and nurses, anybody that's in the line of fire, you know, always should be outfitted or, or uh, cured first. And uh, so that's why, you know, if it's not three months from now, what do I care? You know, I come out here and do this. I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, now I know a lot of people are very social in nature. You know, I'm not. And, uh, and nor can I be. I swear, man. You mentioned the word, you know, uh, that, you know, that the Capitol riot wasn't caused by Trump. You know, he just was saying, let's peacefully go down there and make our voices heard. A bunch of lunatics stormed the Capitol. You say that to some, well, what used to be some of my friends. They went crazy. You know, the F-bomb came out and told me to get the heck away from them. They never want to talk to me ever again. I'm like, well, okay, if that's the way you feel. I said, I don't agree with you voting for Biden, but I would never disown you as a friend just because, well, hell, hey, hey, hold on. Let me, uh, let me pause here. We've got a good, good spot. I'm we'll gonna try to get this on the video. I'm hoping he'll come this way. That's a hawk flying around. Man, look at that guy. He's, he's kind of just, come, come on back, come on back, come on back. Let's get a good shot. Oh, he's still just kind of hovering out there. Like, you know, the problem is if I wait on these videos, a lot of times they'll go the opposite way and then I get no video of them. And so you, you don't get to see the birds at all, but all right, well, let's, he's getting too far away. Let's, uh, let's hope he comes back. I'll try to get another video of him. All right. So now I've raised it up all the way. I won't go all the way around. I just want to. Boy, I can't wait to see that on the video. All right. Man, see, it's hard to get them. There he is. There he is. There's another one over there to the right. There he's going. Okay. All right, well, you know, tag on it. I swear I tried to get to the camera. I had a much better view of him. Maybe he'll come back. But anyway, let's listen. Oh, there's another one. Holy moly. Now, that might be a turkey vulture. I'm not sure if that's a hawk. It could be. Oh man, he's coming right over. There he goes. Oh yeah. Hopefully I'm getting him on the film. He's going into the sun. Oh, I gotta, I gotta stop there. All right, so let's, uh, let's get a quick view. There we go. Okay, he's right above me now. Let's get him. Sorry, I know the film's bouncing around all over the place. Probably gonna make people dizzy if I put the whole thing in. Hopefully we're getting him. All right, that's enough. So this is, boy, this is a big body of water. I mean, I never even, never even heard of it. Let's get the camera up again. Pretty cool, huh? Get my 
walking stick. Uh, and I just heard 35, well, 25,000 troops are descending on Washington, D.C. for security for Biden. <laughs> Where was the security for Trump? I mean, you know, they had, what, 200 uh, palace uh, capital guards there when they knew a million protesters were going to descend on Washington, D.C. I mean, what kind of security was that? You know, I mean, it just it just cracks me up. I mean, because, you know, at this point, nobody's going to be stupid enough to, to go to Washington and raise cane. But, hey, you know, they want to pay all that money for a bunch of troops that they don't need there. I'm sure them guys are liking the paychecks. So, all right, let's, uh, well, let's see. Well, let me show you what's ahead here. So we're kind of making a turn away from the water. Now, I only have another half an hour left before I got to turn around and get back. It's going to be dark when I get back. I just got to face up to that reality. And the temperature's dropping. We got a front blowing in. So it's going to be a cold motorcycle ride back. But, uh, Hopefully, we'll, I'll probably take a, another a walking back video and talk about life at uh, Camp Lejeune because that's kind of what I think I'm going to start doing is just we'll, we'll do the, the hiking video and that'll be a separate video and then I'll do, you know, let's tell stories video and, you know, um, and that'll be it. All right. So this is cool. You know, you always, when you're walking along, hey, by the way, I did see a guy uh, riding a bicycle through here. How in the hell he got a bicycle back here? I, I don't know. And uh, I would love to ride a mountain bike back here, but uh, my problem, well, you can't make a video and ride a bike. I mean, you can, you know, but you'd just be stopping along the way. You wouldn't be having any conversation and, you know, most of, but this would be tough to ride, really. This grass is just hard enough to hike through. All right, so we're gonna be turning around here in about 15 minutes. That's the worst part of the day. I'll make one more video and that'll be it for, uh, for this, unless we see something really cool. And uh, I don't know, it's, it looks like it's going to be more of the same. Boy, I tell you, you could come back here and just spend all day, you know. And I, well, I've been here all day, but I would much, I'd rather do even more. I wish I had more time. Okay, as I round the bend here, you know, I was going to wait till I was done hiking, but I wanted you to see we're getting a different look. Oh, there's a bird. Uh, probably he's in the tree there. But it's kind of going back into the... Uh, the forest a bit. Isn't this cool? Yeah, so maybe we'll get uh, one or two more. So this is kind of what I'm seeing along the trail. Isn't that cool? Like a, It looks like one of them, uh, you know, uh, Batman movies where they're mixing some sort of green uh, cocktail that if you fall in, you're going to turn into the uh, swamp monster or something, you know. And uh, here's the other side. Really turning into a, 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 an even more unique hike. So it's just kind of going on this way. So let's keep on going.